Yes, yes, yes. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is T-Man and this is just a video on how I set up the Behringer TD3 synth with Ableton Live and also with the Arteria Beat Step Pro one and run it into one of the channel um, sequences on there. So if you're wondering how to set up the Arteria Beat Step Pro, then I did a video a couple of days ago and that is on my channel so just look for that and i set up using the beat step pro and i mainly focus on the drum channel and how i have all my drum kits and um, playing on ableton and through here for live performance so i can hit them and live loop on ableton or use the sequencer 16 to 64 steps on the beat step pro so uh, first things first, you want to get your TD3, you want to have the power plugged in obviously, and um, that's the end one there. So that brings the power to the synth, and then you either want a USB or a MIDI in and out, depending on how you're connecting it. So that send a MIDI to and from, and you also want a quarter inch uh audio cable as well which you record in mono that you can have running straight into ableton so the way i've got it set up is i've got the usb cable here so i send the midi over usb and that goes directly into my computer and then i have the audio going into there and that'll make more sense in a second when i show you on ableton i keep it all color coordinated so it's all organized um, you may have a slightly different setup. Um, you could be using the MIDI cable. If you're using the MIDI cable, then with Ableton, uh, the way that I've used it before, I've had the MIDI come in and out of um, the audio interface into the Behringer TD3, and then um, Ableton sending the MIDI to this. It's exactly the same with the USB cable. I've then got the BeatStep Pro um, connected up with the USB cable as well um, because I run this as external on the settings here so at the top I got it as USB so uh, the, the reasons behind that if you're on internal then this will be the master and you can change Ableton to external to follow along with the BeatStep Pro uh, that's a good setup you just have to mess around with latency a little bit sometimes but that's a good setup if you're more um, pushed towards a doorless setup but you also want to be a hybrid um, kind of setup with Ableton so the way I've got it is USB so um, I've got Ableton as my master sending the clock out to um, the sequencer here and then that allows me to uh, visual kind of like a visual performance so I can play the keys on here and um, depending on what sort of jam I'm doing or using the sequencer so that's the way I've got them set up so first things first uh, once you've got that all hooked up correctly um, and into your computer we'll show you how to set that up with an Ableton but first you want to go on to the Behringer synth tools which will go now So that's it set up on Behringer now. So what we'll do is I'll just quickly talk you through my setup in case it looks a bit confusing. So this is my um, Ableton Live drum and bass template that I'm putting together, running all my VSTs that I choose and my synths with the MIDI in and out and the audio and the different drum kits. So the Arteria BeatStep Pro one was the drums and I had them set up there and I'll if you want to see more on that then check out my other video but I've got them all set up running into the BeatStep Pro too. So first thing you want to do is you want to press control comma or go up to the top and go into Ableton Live's preferences have obviously if you followed the last one the Arteria BeatStep Pro then you've got that set up with Mac and Control, Beat Step Pro in and out there. 
and then you've got the sync remote on on the input i uh, got them all on on the Mackie control and then just, just copy my settings or try and whatever works out for you on the outputs as well so then we want to set up the td3 so first thing we're doing is setting that up so uh, td3 input td3 output and then on here on the input we've got track on and on the output for td3 we've got the track off so we know that it is recognized able's recognized the td3 and then on that end we know that the usb is working and let me just shut the drum kit and the bass and then what you want to do is all of these are either groups i've set up and it's um, either midi or audio so what you do is you just right click you create a midi track and then you can name that midi track so i've named that one midi and you can right click and chain uh, add audio track and then name that one audio and press control and uh, hold control click on both of them right click and group the name it so as i said when i got to organize with the red tape that's because i've got that one red there as well and i'm trying to keep it all organized so once it's grouped you've got td3 and you've got midi and you've got audio so what you want is now on the midi you want to go up there type in instrument right there external instrument drag that down and it creates the external instrument there and you want to set the midi to td3 and then whatever channel that you've um, set it to in the behringer synth tools so i set it to channel one and that there is set up and then if you um draw in the midi box in there and like that then. and then that's set up like that on there but if you've got the arterio beat step pro set up like i did in my settings there then just go into there and click on mackie control classic input beat step pro and then on the beat step pro here we have channel one channel two and the drums are channel 10. so i've got the drum set up in the last video so we've got it's on channel two on the sequencer so there's a couple of ways that you can now use that so this was one i did earlier So there we go, we've got the MIDI set up on there and we've got it on there. So you can either just draw that in. So if you're like, if you're not using the Arteria Beat Step Pro, just draw it in and then that will send the MIDI um, to, there we go, sorry. Uh, that was, if you've got that on there, that'll send the MIDI to the external instruments, which is the TD3 and then the, the them notes will play on there and then the audio will come back out so you sorry i forgot to mention that you want the audio whatever um plug in so if you can see there that's my input five that i've got the td3 plugged into so you've got the audio out the back going in there so realistically we've got midi and we're sending midi to the td3 and we've got the audio coming back out and that's what the external instrument is for there and then we've taken it to so that's it set up so if you just want to do that draw in your midi have some fun that's good but this way i set up the arterial beat step pro the mackie control on there it is written on there and then i've got it into channel two you can have it set on channel one as well so if we go channel one you can have that set on there and then channel two like that so now you've got your um you can form live and uh, playing the notes if you just want to play it live you can play it live if you want to use the sequence you can so if i press play on here Yeah. 
So to do that, all you have to do is double click on there or there. So you've double clicked on there and you created a MIDI, you can draw it in there if you're going to produce and you just want the sounds and record them in the audio or if you want to jam along, just you can literally just uh, play it on there. So, so to live loop that, all you have to do is press the red one there and then So literally just hit that red on there, make sure that one is armed, and then on there, you can then play that, and it will live loop within Ableton, and you've got all your notes on there. So that's the way I kind of like to do it. But if you like to run the sequencer, you can literally keep that one blank. Like that. That's pretty much it really. So then you can either use the 16 to 64 steps up there, play it in, you can either press record on here. You can press the record button on here, uh, play it live over the top, or you could end on the sequencer, or just draw it in on the sequencer itself, what note you want. And uh, that's a good way of doing it if you want to jam with that a lot of people do uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to probably live loop it where I have a MIDI file up there press the little red record button over the top so then anything I press will then be live looped into that bar and that's the other way of playing it so yeah what you want to do is you just kind of want to have a jam with it as well
And I think that's pretty much it. So you can just kind of you jam in with it on here, however you want. Uh, so you can live loop it on there, or you can use the step sequencer, and it's all hooked up with MIDI to and from um, Ableton, really. So if you've got any questions, just give us a shout, and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you.